And anyway, there was another one I got later on. He was too bloody sick to move. I told one of the blokes to shoot him and he never, so I grabbed his bloody Owen gun and gave him the bloody full lot. Nearly got court-martialed over twice then. They let me off and took me out of the line for a few weeks. Then we had to hide from bloody Japanese snipers. So you see, George, I squared things over bed. And look, I would never, ever lift a rifle and shoot at another man again. But I still got a hatred and I would never trust the Japanese after what I saw them do. I think they would still do it. But it's changed me, because I know what it's like. Be called a bloody murderer. Do you know when I was up in the hospital at Artaby, the word got around about me, and one of the nurses came down to me and said, are you the bloke that killed the Japanese? And look, I turned my head in the pillar and bloody well howled because it went all over the ward. That bastard down there, he won't take food, he killed bloody Japanese. And the blokes, the nurses and them, they nearly shunned me because they recognised a bloody criminal or something, just like a bloody murderer. Well, I was. I could have taken him back. He could have gone back to his mother, his, his people, his kids.